sign in successfully and obtain the Nine Yang Manual. In an instant, Lin Chen felt a powerful force filling his entire body. Reborn in a parallel world, Lin Chen carries a check.in system and checks in every day to receive different rewards. There are unparalleled divine skills, super strong technology, powerful weapons, and miraculous medicines, most importantly, Lin Chen often signs in on extinct ancient creatures. Dinosaurs, Archaeopteryx, Sword Tooth Tiger, looking at the adorable dinosaur cubs with big eyes in the yard, Lin Chen felt a lot of pressure. How to put it, this is a story of farming and developing in a different world, striving to become invincible in the world. Ah, with eight excellent and beautiful sisters, life is also a kind of pressure, Lin Chen sighed as he lay on the lounge chair, basking in the sun. Keywords of the novel Check-in starts from rural farming without pop-ups, check-in starts from rural farming. Download the complete text, check-in starts from rural farming. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Opening the Nine Young Manual You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Opening the Nine Young Manual, Sign In Lin Chen looked at his tender white hands and silently recited in his heart. If you sign in successfully, you will get a the Nine Yang Manual. I got the Nine Yang Manual on my first sign in. I'm lucky and just started to practice. It seems that my golden finger came a little late. I have been through the rebirth for eight years, and this golden finger is not responsible. Lin Chen roast in his heart. Alas, after practicing the, the Nine Yang Manual, I'm afraid my appetite will increase again. If I don't open up new food sources, I will be hungry again. Looking at the gold in the Nine Yang Manual in his mind, Lin Chen said in his heart. Systematically, cultivate the Nine Yang Manual. Finally, Lin Chen struggled for a while and chose to practice the, the Nine Yang Manual. There's no way, he wants to get more food, it's not possible without strong power. In Lin Chen's body, there resides the soul of an adult who has many ways to obtain food, but unfortunately his body does not allow it. He only has the body of an eight-year-old child. No matter how many methods there are, without powerful power, his methods are almost useless. Boom! As soon as he finished speaking, a powerful force integrated into his body. He could clearly feel the changes in his body. The surface of his skin emitted a foul odor, and greasy black impurities were constantly being expelled from the body. The bones became harder, and his muscles widened. He could clearly feel that his body was rapidly strengthening. Pop, boom. After the system was topped, Lin Chen extended his tender white hand and slapped a stone about one meter high on the roadside. In an instant, this huge and hard stone turned into gravel. I'll go, it's so impressive. If I slap someone, it won't even wipe them out. Looking at the huge stone that had been smashed by himself in front of him, Lin Chen was also startled. The The Nine Yang Manual is worthy of being the first dot-class divine skill in the novels of the former king, and its power is powerful. Because of his weak body, he just reluctantly cultivated the first level of the Nine Yang Manual. The system signed in and obtained a total of twelve levels of the Nine Yang Manual. The first level of power is so powerful. If all the twelve levels of the Nine Yang Manual are successfully cultivated, how strong will the power be? Looking at the gravel in front of Lin Chen, his mind was already filled with infinite longing. Gugu, Gugu just as he was still longing, a gurgling cry came from his stomach, and a strong sense of hunger surged into his heart. Hey, the one who should have come is here. Let's hurry up and find food to fill our stomachs first. Feeling the strong hunger emanating from his body, Lin Chen sighed in his heart. Well, it smells so bad. Let's go to the river to wash my body first before going. Otherwise, my body smells so bad. If I meet an acquaintance, they might think I fell into a pit. It's too smelly. Smelling the foul odor emanating from his body, Lin Chen instantly felt his hunger disappear a lot. It's too smelly, he can't even bear it anymore. Shoo! 
Holding his breath, Lin Chen quickly ran towards the river next to the village. Shua. The distance was just over 30 meters, and Lin Chen didn't pay attention and almost fell himself. His body was too weak, and his strength improved too quickly. His body couldn't adapt for a while, which caused him to almost fall in this embarrassing situation. This requires him to spend some time adapting his body to the sudden surge of strength, and once he adapts, this situation will not occur again. Puff. Quickly, Lin Chen arrived at the small river and jumped in directly, taking off his clothes and quickly scrubbing the black dirt that had been expelled from his body. At this time, although it was already October, the weather was not too cold, and although the river water was a bit cool, these were not a problem for Lin Chen now. The Nine Yang Manual is the most powerful and vigorous skill. After practice, the body's masculinity has become stronger, and the body's cold resistance has been greatly improved. The cold of the river has no effect on him at all. After washing, Lin Chen dried his body, quickly put on his clothes, and then ran towards the mountains across the river. He is very hungry now and needs to replenish his food. He definitely cannot return home, and there is not much food available for him to eat at home. After all, his family of nine siblings, along with his parents and eleven people, has a great demand for food. His parents are just farming, and their food can only barely make a living. Besides, all eight of his sisters are still in school, and some of the food they grow has to be sold to his sisters for tuition. His parents have worked hard enough in this lifetime, and Lin Chen will not add any more burden to them. Linjia village is backed by a large mountain, and there is plenty of food in the hundreds of thousands of miles of mountains. Lin Chen doesn't like wild fruits, they don't make him hungry. His target this time is the ubiquitous wild animals in the mountains, such as rabbits, chickens, and pigs. With the The Nine Yang Manual, these wild animals that were hard to catch before are now nothing to him. Even the wild boar that turns pale in the village is no different from a weak chicken in front of Lin Chen. The mountain range backed by Linjia village is a branch of the Kunwa Mountains, stretching for thousands of kilometers. The mountain is densely populated with plants and a wide variety and quantity of wild animals. Although it is already October in golden autumn, the mountains are still lush and there are not many yellow leaves falling. Crossing the small river, Lin Chen quickly ran towards the depths of the mountain. The entire Linjia village is not wealthy, and there are very few wild animals on the outskirts of the mountain. The vast majority have already been captured by the hunters in the village. It is undoubtedly extremely difficult and time-consuming to capture enough prey in this peripheral area. What Lin Chen lacks is time. It's already around 2 p.m. this afternoon. His sisters will all come back from school today, so Lin Chen needs to catch enough prey and fill his stomach before his sisters arrive home. That is to say, there are only a few hours left for him. The depths of the mountains are very dangerous, and the people of this Linjia village are aware of it. Therefore, there are generally no special circumstances. The people of Linjia village will not enter the depths of the mountains, even the hunters in the village. They usually hunt in the peripheral areas of the mountains. The mountains are dangerous but there are also many prey. During the journey, Lin Chen saw wild rabbits and chickens everywhere. Shu, Shu, Shu the small stones in his hand were like bullets popping out of the barrel, and every rabbit and chicken he saw died one by one under his stones. In no time, he captured six rabbits and five chickens. Whether it's a wild rabbit or a wild chicken, each one is very fat. A wild rabbit can weigh about eight pounds, and a wild chicken can weigh five or six pounds. There are also dozens of pounds of meat that have been slaughtered. Find a small pond, and Lin Chen begins to deal with these captured prey. He is very hungry now and wants to eat. Dealing with rabbits and pheasants is not a bit difficult for Lin Chen, who has an adult soul. In his past life on earth, he had a special love for eating, and he could cook many delicious foods himself. Dealing with a few pheasants and pheasants is not a big deal. Quickly, all ten or so wild chickens and rabbits were taken care of. As for the internal organs of these prey, 
Lin Chen threw them all into the pond and fed the fish in the water. Next, light the fire and grill the meat. When he came out today, he had already planned everything, so there were plenty of different seasonings and a lighter for starting a fire. There is nothing lacking in the mountains, but there is no shortage of dry branches. The raging fire quickly caught fire. The preys, which had been marinated for a while, were strung together with green bamboo poles and then grilled by the fire. A few Lin Chen also wrapped them in wide leaves, covered them with thick mud, and put them into the fire to bake. It will take some time for the food to be baked, and during this time, Lin Chen once again focused his gaze on the wild chickens on the tree. Although his family is not hungry enough, they can only eat meat during the Chinese New Year and holidays. It is impossible to eat meat on a regular basis. The world and era he is currently in is not the earth of the 21st century in his previous life. There is no shortage of any resources, and you don't want to eat meat. Not to mention food. In this parallel world, the current timeline is around 2000 years, and people have just barely eaten enough. As for meat, ordinary people can only eat it during holidays and festivals, and no one is willing to buy it because they have no money. Lin Chen couldn't just focus on eating meat for himself and ignore his family. Besides, his parents treated him very well in this life, and that kind of happiness was something he couldn't feel as an orphan in his previous life. He enjoyed this happiness very much, otherwise he wouldn't have planned to go hunting in the mountains long ago. What he does is to alleviate the pressure on his parents and support his family. It's different to have the Nine Yang Manual. Whether it's strength, speed or other aspects, Lin Chen has exceeded ordinary people's imagination. Although he is still an eight-year-old child, his strength is not comparable to that of more than ten adults. Pop, pop, pop. One by one, the wild chickens under the tree were hit in the head by stones and died. In just over half an hour, thirty more wild chickens and six wild rabbits died in the hands of Lin Chen. Well, it's almost done, not too much at once, otherwise it's hard to explain. These thirty or so wild chickens and rabbits, combined, weigh more than two hundred pounds, enough for the family to eat for a while. Lin Chen stopped as he saw it was almost done. The wild chickens and rabbits in this mountain may lack natural predators, and each one is quite plump, weighing an average of six or seven pounds. Don't forget that he is still an eight-year-old child, weighing over two hundred pounds of prey. He can make a simple tool that can still be pulled. If there are too many, he won't be able to explain how to pull the prey back. After all, for today's hunting plan, he also unintentionally revealed his strong strength in front of his family. The existence of a check that IN system is a secret that can only be known to oneself, so it cannot be exposed. Besides, there are so many prey in the mountain that it is not necessary to hunt too much at one time. In the future, there will be no meat to eat. It will be okay to enter the mountain several times. With the the nine young manual nearby, he can catch pheasants and hares easily. Organizing the prey, Lin Chen smelled a fragrance, which was the aroma of roasted meat. New book upload, seeking collection, seeking recommendation, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Beating your brother before it's too late. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2. Beating your brother before it's too late on the evening of October in the golden autumn, it was already dark after 6 o'clock. Linjia village is a mountain village, and by six o'clock, the sky was completely dark. The lights of countless households adorn the curtain of the night, just like the stars in the night sky. Lin Chen used a simple bamboo raft to pull the wild chickens and rabbits he had captured, and also returned to his doorstep. Little brother, where did you go to play? It's so late to come back. Big sister and I were just about to go find you. Just as he arrived at his doorstep, Lin Chen met his third sister Lin Wan who was about to leave. As soon as Lin Wan saw Lin Chen, she asked with a concern and responsibility. Third sister, haven't I come back? Big sister, have they all come back? 
Lin Chen also felt the strong concern contained in Third Sister's words. In order to prevent Third Sister from paying too much attention to where he was going, he quickly changed the topic. Well, Big Sister and the others have all come back. Hurry up and go back to the house. My parents and Big Sister are cooking. You should go back to the house and rest first. I'll call you when the food is ready. Seeing that Lin Chen had returned, Lin Wan no longer went out, but led Lin Chen into the yard. Little brother, what are you pulling behind you? Lin Wan, who was about to enter the yard, turned her head to see the bamboo raft behind Lin Chen and asked curiously. It was late at night and the lighting was insufficient. Lin Wan didn't see clearly what was on the bamboo raft. She thought her younger brother was playful and that his own toys were being pulled on the bamboo raft. Come on, third sister, you're pulling the bamboo chops in, it's exhausting me. Lin Chen took the vines from himself and handed them to Lin Wan. I went into the mountains this afternoon, and on the bamboo chops were wild chickens and rabbits that I caught in the afternoon. Isn't that why you and your sister are coming back today? I'm thinking of getting some meat to nourish your body and also to nourish your parents' bodies. They work so hard in farming, and your studies are also so hard. Upon hearing Lin Wan's question, Lin Chen deliberately pretended to be ignorant and said. What? You entered the mountain. Lin Chen's words had just landed, and Lin Wan exploded like a cat with its tail stepped on. Her voice suddenly increased by more than eight degrees. Who let you into the mountain? Don't you know it's very dangerous in the mountains? Are you intentionally angering your parents? Lin Wanjin didn't care about the prey on the bamboo raft at all, and by then her voice was already filled with tears. Lin Chen is the only boy in their family. Initially, his parents were fined a lot of money for family planning in order to support Lin Chen. In rural areas, if there is no male heir to inherit the family line, they will be ridiculed and looked down upon. This is also why their parents were forced to give birth to Lin Chen despite being fined. Now, the precious bumps of the whole family unexpectedly entered the dangerous mountains alone to make them eat meat, which made Lin Wan both heartbroken and angry. What's wrong, what's wrong? This is. The older sister Lin Shi, who heard the commotion in the room, rolled up her sleeves and ran out quickly. Hearing Lin Wan's loud voice, she thought something had happened to her younger brother. When she left the room and saw that his brother was doing well, it relieved her anxious heart. Big sister, little brother, he went hunting in the mountains, Lin Wan said with a tearful tone. What? Lin Shi was also shocked when she heard Lin Wan's words. Her younger brother actually ran into the mountains, which is not acceptable. This disease cannot be tolerated. The mountains are so dangerous. What if something happens to her younger brother? Pop, pop, pop. Lin Shi didn't care anymore. He pulled Lin Chen over and hit his buttocks fiercely. This was a real hit, not the fake one before. Lin Chen can clearly feel the pain on his buttocks. While fighting against Lin Shi, I also feel heartbroken. But no matter how much you hurt her, you still have to hit her. There are some things you can't get used to, otherwise it will harm your own little brother. It's easy for Lin Chen, who has the Nine Yang Manual, to resist. He can smash a stone one meter high with one hand. Lin Shi's strength is not enough for him. However, Lin Chen did not do so, but chose to be beaten honestly. The older sister Lin Shi hit him for his own good, knowing her own strength, but the older sister and parents did not know. They were nervous and worried about themselves, which was normal. Big sister, stop beating. It hurts, it hurts. I won't dare to do it again next time. I just want my parents and you to eat more meat. Lin Chen was beaten while pretending to be in pain to defend himself. He knew that the older sister was not willing to really hit him. As long as he admitted his mistake, the older sister would quickly stop. Sure enough, upon hearing Lin Chen's defense, Lin Shi stopped and stopped hitting him. Do you know how to hunt, you little brat? 
The mountains are so dangerous that even the hunters in our village dare not go in alone. You can do it, who do you think you are? Lin Shi raised her hand and wanted to hit Lin Chen again. Big sister, it hurts, it hurts, stop hitting. Looking at the hand raised by the elder sister, Lin Chen quickly pretended to have a painful expression on his face. Say, will you go next time? Looking at Lin Chen's painful expression, Lin Shi finally felt heartbroken and didn't hit him again. I'm not going, I'm not going. Big sister, can you and third sister bring the prey I caught into the house first, otherwise it won't be good to be seen later. Seeing the elder sister put her hand down, Lin Chen quickly diverted their attention. Did you really catch the prey? Lin Shi said with a skeptical expression when he heard Lin Chen say he had caught the prey. There are many wild chickens and rabbits in the mountains, but these wild chickens and rabbits are not easy to catch. They are the hunters in the village, and sometimes they can't catch a few in a day. My younger brother claimed to have caught prey in the afternoon, which made Lin Shi a bit skeptical. Big sister, it's just on the bamboo raft. You can just pull it in and take a look, Lin Chen said with a deliberately aggrieved expression. Okay, Lin Shi and Lin Wan looked at Lin Chen with a face full of grievances and felt a bit embarrassed. When they heard that Lin Chen had entered the mountain, they didn't ask him clearly and then slapped him, which was indeed a bit hasty. But soon they adjusted their mindset. Beating him is for his good, didn't you say so? Beating your younger brother should be done as soon as possible, otherwise when your younger brother grows up, you won't be able to beat him. If Lin Chen knew about their thoughts at this moment, he would have vomited blood. Even his sister knew about the memes on earth in his past life. You should know that he had eight sisters. If each sister had given him a chance, could he still live well? Pulling Lin Chen's tightly wrapped bamboo row with branches and leaves into the yard, Lin Wan casually closed the door. What's wrong? Lin Shi, Lin Wan, are you two bullying your younger brother again? You said you're both so old and still bullying your younger brother. As soon as the bamboo raft was pulled into the yard, a middle dot aged woman with slightly white temples walked out of the room and scolded Lin Shi and Lin Wan. Mom, big sister and third sister didn't hit me. We were just having fun. This middle dot aged woman is none other than Lin Chen's mother. Seeing his mother scolding his two sisters, Lin Chen quickly acted coquettishly. Okay, no beating, Lin's mother looked at Lin Chen with a kind and indulgent expression on her face. Look at your muddy clothes. Where did you go crazy this afternoon? Hurry up and wash yourself in the house, and have dinner later. Oh, how could there be so many wild chickens and rabbits? Little brother, have you brought back the prey trapped in the traps of our village's hunters? Lin Shi and Lin Wan opened their branches and looked at the slowly growing rows of wild chickens and rabbits, and asked Lin Chen with a shocked expression. They thought Lin Chen's words were just for fun, but they didn't expect their little brother to actually capture so many prey. Big sister, third sister, what are you talking about? Is your younger brother like me? Lin Chen rolled his eyes at them when he heard his two sisters questioning him. This is really what I did, Noah, see. I used this slingshot to shoot your younger brother, Lin Chen said, grabbing the slingshot that was wrapped around his neck. Looking at the slingshot in Lin Chen's hand, most of the doubts in Lin Shi and Lin Wan's hearts were dispelled. Lin Chen has been playing with slingshots since he was five years old, and this slingshot was made for him by his father himself. Looking at the wild chickens and rabbits on the bamboo chops, most of the fatal injuries are on the head, which is in line with my younger brother's style of playing slingshots. Did you really hit it? Lin Wan asked again with a small mouth open, somewhat silly. I really did it. I said, third sister, do you still want to eat meat? If you delay any longer, you won't be able to eat meat tonight, Lin Chen rolled his eyes again. He knew that his third sister loved eating meat the most, and indeed, as soon as she heard about it, Lin Wan immediately came to her senses. Yes, who said you shouldn't eat meat? Eat meat first, and then we'll settle accounts with you. Lin Wan, 
who eats meat, likes it the most. Whenever she thinks about having meat to eat later, her saliva can't help but dribble out of her mouth. Lin's mother looked at a bamboo row of wild chickens and rabbits, with little surprise on her face. With Lin Shi and Lin Wan present, Lin Chen couldn't have any problems. Besides, Lin Chen had never let them worry too much since childhood. As a mother, she believed in her son. Dad, come out and clean up the rabbits and chickens, and cook meat for the children at night. Lin's mother turned around and entered the house, saying to Lin's father who was drinking tea. What? There's meat to eat at night. Hearing Lin's mother's words, the other sisters who were busy in the room all ran out one by one. When they saw the wild chickens and rabbits piled up on the bamboo rafts in the yard, their faces were filled with shock and longing. Don't think that Lin Chen's sisters are not outstanding. On the contrary, each of his sisters is excellent. How can we say that, in the words of his past life on earth, these eight sisters are all at the level of learning gods? It's normal to crave meat. It's just past the millennium, and both the country and individuals are not wealthy. Meat can only be eaten during holidays and festivals. Usually, it's not a wealthy family, and no one would buy meat to eat. Now that they suddenly see so much meat, it is normal for them to have such a reaction, after all, they have not eaten meat for more than half a year. When dealing with the wild chickens and rabbits, Lin Chen couldn't get in touch. Lin's father and mother, along with her eight sisters, dealt with all the more than twenty wild chickens and six wild rabbits he had hunted. Except for the three he ate at night, the rest was salted. At night, the scent of meat wafted everywhere in Lin Chen's yard. Please collect and recommend, thank you. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Planning for the Future You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Planning for the Future After dinner at night, Lin Chen lay alone in his room, constantly pondering in his mind that he needed to make a plan for his future. This is not the earth of the 21st century in the previous life, nor is it the orphan who lived an ordinary life for over 30 years. This is earth, a parallel world that has just passed its millennium. Although life is relatively difficult now, there are too many opportunities for development in this world. As a future person who travels through rebirth and carries a check that IN system, as long as you plan well, the future is definitely limitless. As a time traveler with golden fingers, he cannot waste this rare opportunity given by heaven. The key now is what kind of future you want to plan for yourself. Don't forget, he is only eight years old now, and even with many ideas and plans, he can hardly do anything at his current age. Not to mention anything else, the whole family opposed the hunting today. If it weren't for him cutting it first and reporting it later, he probably wouldn't have been able to leave the house. Lin Chen was very depressed. Why did his golden finger only arrive today? If only he had arrived earlier, maybe he wouldn't have to worry about it now. The area of earth is very large. According to the books brought back by his sisters, Lin Chen learned that the area of earth is at least a hundred times that of the previous earth. The world structure and history of earth star are not much different from that of earth in its past life. There were both World War I and World War II, and the Xia Kingdom where it was located also experienced a hundred years of suffering. But the history of Xia Kingdom is very different from that of China in its past life on Earth. Many of the famous figures in China in its past life, including classic poetry and famous historical figures, were not found on Earth. Not only Xia Kingdom, but also foreign historical figures and famous works. This gave Lin Chen a great opportunity. He could easily become a famous writer by plagiarizing and publishing any of his famous works from his past life but the key now is that he doesn't have any channels or connections to publish them. Don't forget that he's only eight years old now and hasn't even published in Lingjia Village. The first thing Lin Chen needs to do is to improve the living conditions at home. This is a must. If he doesn't do it, he can't. If he wants to practice the Nine Yang Manual, he must eat a lot of food every day to supplement his body's energy needs. Eating only grains and vegetables is not enough, 
you must eat more meat. The best way to practice martial arts is to use ancient medicinal herbs, but herbs like this are not cheap and cannot be affordable for Lin Chen today. Therefore, for Lin Chen, the best way is to eat more meat. Lin family village is backed by the mountains, and there is no shortage of meat. However, Lin Chen cannot eat meat alone. He also wants his family to be able to eat meat like him. As an orphan in his previous life, he never enjoyed the care of his parents or the happiness of his family. In this life, he has loving parents and caring for his sister, so he cannot just enjoy his own happiness and let his family suffer. The only problem he is facing now is that he is too young, not only his parents are not at ease, but even his sisters are not at ease with him. Having lived for over 30 years in his past life, it is easy for him to improve the quality of his family life. Even without relying on the system, he has many ways to improve his family's living standards. The key now is how to normalize the abnormalities in his body. If he were 18 years old, he wouldn't have this kind of distress, the key is that he is now 8 years old. Lying in bed, Lin Chen kept rolling around, with one idea after another flashing through his mind. But none of these ideas worked, they were all rejected by him. What should I do? Hmm. Suddenly, Lin Chen came up with an idea. If he wanted to eat meat every day, he could secretly go hunting in the mountains, which was very easy for him. His family can completely eat domestic animal meat. Their yard is very large, estimated by Lin Chen to be about six acres in size. In addition to the area occupied by the house and vegetable fields, there is also about five acres of open space in the yard. Such a large area is completely sufficient for breeding. Besides, even if the yard is not spacious enough, there are still many vacant wastelands in front and behind their houses, all of which belong to their family. In Linjia village, although everyone lives in poverty, there is no shortage of land, and each family has a considerable amount of wasteland. The main reason why everyone is poor is due to poor transportation and the inaction of village officials. They have to walk several hours on the mountain road once, and the consequences of inconvenient transportation are poverty. Because you can't sell good things, and there are thousands of people and households in Linjia village who rely on farming for a living. No one is engaged in farming, one is because everyone has no money, and the other is because there is no farming technology. If we engage in farming, if we don't manage it well, if an infectious disease comes down and all the things we raise die, we will cry everywhere. Instead of doing so, it's better to farm honestly, at least not to starve. Breeding technology, Lin Chen has it. In the era of information explosion in the 21st century, Lin Chen had never seen anything before. Besides, he didn't have a large area of farming, and he only started farming to ensure that his family didn't lack meat to eat. Well, that's a good idea. Let's start with farming, solve the meat problem first, and then gradually solve other problems. He actually had a rough and general plan for his future. At that time, he had not yet awakened the system. Now, he has awakened the system, and there is a chance to check in every day. With the help of the system, he no longer needs to work hard in the future. As an orphan in his previous life, he worked tirelessly all his life. In this life, he has a happy home and only wants to enjoy the love of his parents and the happiness of the family. To enjoy the happiness of a family, start by improving the quality of life and ensuring that everyone in the family eats meat. Lin Chen fell asleep in a daze as he thought about it. Oh, oh, oh upon waking up, the big rooster in the yard had already crowed several times. The sunlight shines on the window, making the room bright. Lin Chen rubbed his eyes, sat up, stretched lazily on the bed, got dressed, got out of bed, and began to wash up. In the kitchen, my mother and elder sister have already started making breakfast. Little brother, you're up now. Why are you getting up so early? Why don't you sleep a little longer? Looking at Lin Chen scooping water to wash his face in the yard, the older sister Lin she said. Stop sleeping, sleep well, get up and exercise, Lin Chen replied while washing his face. 
By the way, when will you return to school? Are you going to graduate? What are your plans after graduation? Lin Chen asked the elder sister several questions in a row. Sister Lin Shi is already in her twenties and is about to graduate from university. No, to be more precise, she should be graduating from graduate school. Sister Lin Shi attended the best university in Xia country, Jingbei University, majoring in financial economics. At that time, his eldest sister Lin Shi was admitted to the north of Beijing with the third place in the province. At that time, it could be said that the whole Linjia village was shocked. Since the eldest sister entered the university, no one in the village has said about his family, and no one has said that his parents spent money to support their sisters to study is a waste of money. Their family is the only one in the village that allows all children to study, even if it is difficult, the tuition fees for their sisters to study are not less than a penny. Of course, there is also Lin Chen's contribution here. He has helped his sisters both openly and secretly. If it weren't for Lin Chen, his eight sisters might have dropped out of school and got married long ago. Don't be surprised, in this era, this situation is very common and normal in rural areas. In rural areas, girls are meant to get married. No matter how high their education is, it's better to help their families work in the fields as soon as possible. In this era, in rural areas, this patriarchal mentality is very common. If there is no male heir at home, even if they go out, they cannot look up in front of the village and feel inferior. As the only son in the family, Lin Chen is very effective in speaking many times. After all, in the future, this family will still rely on him to support it. Who makes him the male servant of the family? Big sister Lin Shi is about to graduate from graduate school, second sister Lin Xia, third sister Lin Wan, and fourth sister Lin Ting are also going to take the college entrance examination next year. Their goal is also Jingbei University, and in Lin Chen's opinion, getting into Jingbei University with their grades is guaranteed. You should know that these sisters of Lin Chen are all at the level of learning gods. Sometimes, Lin Chen is curious about how his parents were born and why the sisters they gave birth to are getting better and better. The fifth sister Lin Yu, the sixth sister Lin Ling are all in high school, the seventh sister Lin Shi, and the eighth sister Lin Jia have just entered the first year of junior high school. These sisters are all in the same school, the best middle school in their county, County No. 1 Middle School. County No. 1 Middle School is divided into junior high school and senior high school departments, and it is difficult for students who are not particularly outstanding in their studies to enter County No. 1 Middle School. My supervisor wants me to continue pursuing a PhD, but my sister, I don't want to pursue it anymore. I plan to start working after graduation. After all, pursuing a PhD will take several years and my family is not wealthy. It's better to work early so that I can earn money to support my family. My parents don't have to work so hard anymore. As Lin Shi spoke, she handed Lin Chen the towel in her hand and asked him to wipe his face. Sister, do you want to pursue a PhD? I don't want to, having a graduate student is enough. There's no need to waste a few more years pursuing a PhD, and besides, there are some things that can also be learned in the workplace. There's no need to be in school. Okay, since you've all decided, big sister, I'll support you with both hands, little brother. Lin Chen thought for a moment and realized that in this era, graduate studies are already a very high level of education, especially since her elder sister is still a graduate student from Beijing. With her education, even entering a large state-owned enterprise is more than enough, and the treatment will not be bad. In this era, college students are still very valuable, especially those who graduated from prestigious universities, let alone their older sister who is still a graduate student at Peking University. By the way, Dad, why didn't you see Dad? What did Dad do? Lin Chen draped the towel in his hand over the rope in the yard and asked. Oh, Dad took the leftover prey from yesterday to the town market early in the morning. You hunted too many prey yesterday, and Dad said he couldn't finish it. He plans to sell it to exchange for money and save it for you to use in your future marriage. 
Sister Lin she joked with a smile on her face. Lin Chen is really speechless. Why use it for himself to marry a wife? In other words, his parents have become accustomed to frugality and feel that eating all the wild chickens and rabbits is too luxurious. It's better to exchange some money to support their family. Ah, the road to improving family life is heavy and far off. Lin Chen has nothing to complain about his father's actions, after all, his father is also doing it for the good of this family. If he sells it, he can sell it. If not, he can go to the mountains to take care of it today. By the way, my father said before he left, today let our sisters look at you and not let you go into the mountain again, saying that if you dare to go into the mountain again, your butt will be swollen. Then Lin she aimed at Lin Chen's butt with her eyes. Sister, is it really good of you to do this? You just ate my meat yesterday and defected today. After listening to his elder sister's words, Lin Chen felt quite depressed. Please collect and recommend, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Sign in, complete collection of breeding. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 Sign in, complete collection of breeding. After breakfast, Lin Chen began to stroll around his yard. It's not that he doesn't want to go out, but that he can't go out. Third sister Lin Wan is like a follower, always following behind him. Wherever Lin Chen goes, she follows him. This was instructed by the elder sister Lin Shi. Lin Chen is not allowed to go anywhere today, so he must stay at home honestly. Yesterday, Lin Chen walked into the mountain alone, which scared them all. Fortunately, Lin Chen didn't have any problems. If something really happened, whether it was parents or sisters like them, they would probably live in guilt for the rest of their lives. If Lin Chen really wanted to go out, his third sister Lin Wan wouldn't be able to keep an eye on him. However, in order not to worry his parents and sisters, Lin Chen doesn't plan to go out today, at least during the day. Our yard is very large, with over five acres of free space besides houses and vegetable fields. If all of this space were used for breeding, we should be able to raise a lot of livestock. If we were to raise all the pigs, there would be no problem with hundreds of pigs. However, Lin Chen does not plan to raise all the pigs. Raising pigs requires too much feed. In this era of just having a full meal, who has so much food to feed pigs at home? Pigs definitely need to be raised. If you don't raise too many, just raise a dozen or twenty pigs. As for the issue of feed, there are plenty of wild fruits and pig grass in the mountains. These things, combined with a small amount of corn bran, can raise twenty pigs without any problem. It's just that you work harder every day when cutting pig grass. Besides pigs, Lin Chen also plans to raise some other animals, such as sheep, chickens, rabbits, and so on. He wants to raise cows, but the cost of raising them is too high for him to afford temporarily. Not to mention what cows eat, he doesn't even have the money to buy them. What are he using to raise cows? Their family already has a water buffalo for farming, which is responsible for the cultivation of their over 10 acres of paddy field. It can be said that they have worked hard and achieved great success, whether it is food, housing, or other good things. There's no way, these are all necessary. In this era, large dot scale mechanization is not yet popular. In mountainous villages like Linja village, farming relies on their own oxen. Without oxen, relying solely on human labor can be exhausting for individuals. So, it is only natural for oxen to eat well and live well, as it is related to the livelihood of a family. Little brother, what are you doing? You're just looking around, what are you really looking at? Lin Wan, who was following behind, looked at Lin Chen, who was constantly walking in his yard, and asked. It's nothing, just look at how many pigs, sheep, chickens, and rabbits we can raise in our yard, so that you can have endless meat in the future third sister. Lin Chen answered as he walked. Little brother, don't tease me. Does our family have so much money to buy piglets, sheep, and rabbits? 
Lin Wan listened to Lin Chen's answer and said as if he was looking at something. She felt that her little brother must have lost his head and was daydreaming here. He doesn't know what's going on in his family. He still raises pigs and sheep here. Most of the money in his family has paid tuition fees for their sisters. There is still so much money to buy piglets. Don't you want to eat meat every day, third sister? Think about it, the meat is so fragrant and delicious. Who wouldn't want to eat meat? Hearing about eating meat, Lin Wan couldn't help but think of the aroma of the meat she had eaten last night. Her saliva began to gather in her mouth again, and her throat still throbbed. If you want to eat meat, don't talk so much. Just listen to my arrangements honestly, and I promise you will have endless meat to eat in the future. Lin Chen is well aware of his own third sister's meat-loving personality. As long as there is meat to eat, he can ask his own third sister to do anything. You go see what fourth sister and her are doing. If you have nothing to do, come and help me clean up the pigsty. Looking at her little brother who looked like a young adult, Lin Wan couldn't help but roll her eyes. However, in order to have some meat, she honestly went to the house to call someone. Lin Chen's family used to raise pigs before, but later stopped raising them, so the pigsty was abandoned. The pigsty has a large area and is built with stones. There is a shed built on top, and the ground is paved with small stones, which are very hard and sturdy. With the current area of his pigsty, there is no problem raising twenty pigs. However, because the pigsty has been abandoned for several years, there are piles of debris everywhere in the pigsty, which needs to be cleaned up. As for the task of cleaning up the debris, of course, it falls on his sisters. Who makes them bigger than Lin Chen? By the way, the system can check in once a day. If you haven't checked in yet, let's first check in for today and see what you can sign in for today, Lin Chen thought to himself as he stood outside the pigsty. System, check that I in. Successfully signed in and obtained a complete set of breeding brochures. As soon as the system finished speaking, a powerful stream of knowledge was infused into Lin Chen's mind. The power of this stream of knowledge was so great that even with the soul strength of Lin Chen's two lifetimes, he felt a headache. Fortunately, this pain quickly disappeared, and the system's infusion has always been fast and efficient. A complete set of breeding guides, this system is really thoughtful. Just as I wanted to start farming, the system sent me the breeding guide. This system is good. Using his mind to examine the knowledge in his mind, as soon as he saw the first page, Lin Chen was speechless. What is written on the first page? 3000 Precautions for Pig Farming Upon closer inspection, it is densely packed with various precautions for pig farming, such as the temperature of the pigsty, the food combinations for pigs to eat, and the disinfection and epidemic prevention of the pigsty. In any case, there are all possible problems, and the above measures are very comprehensive. Finally, there are hundreds of pig feed formulas. The pig feed is configured according to the formula, which can not only reduce the incidence rate of pigs, but also improve the growth speed of pigs. The pigs that could grow in half a year can shorten the time by half after using this special configuration of feed, which only takes three months. Not bad, I like this. When Lin Chen saw the pig feed formula, he felt an uncontrollable surprise in his heart. It came just in time. With this formula, their family will have a continuous supply of meat to eat in the future, and they can even sell meat for money. You should know that there is more than one feed formula for accelerating pig growth, and there are dozens of different types in the forest. The most abnormal type can directly make a full moon piglet grow to over 350 pounds per month, which is even more abnormal. Of course, Lin Chen definitely doesn't know how to use this kind of feed now. That's too abnormal. After using it, how can he explain it? He just wants to eat meat, of course, the less trouble the better. Continuing to read, there is knowledge about raising cattle, sheep, chickens, ducks, geese, and fish. There are also various feed formulas recorded later, and using these configured feed can also accelerate animal growth. Looking back, 
Lin Chen was immediately stunned. A complete collection of tiger breeding. What kind of ghost is this? Is it used for raising tigers? Looking back, knowledge and experience in breeding leopards, brown bears, and giant pandas. I'll go, this farming knowledge is too comprehensive. Seeing this, Lin Chen was really speechless. Is this knowledge useful? Will he dare to raise a tiger if given it? In the deep mountains behind Linjia village, there are tigers, not only tigers, but also bears and wolves. However, the key is that Lin Chen dare not raise them. The risk of raising them is too high, and it's almost equivalent to keeping them in a zoo. Continue flipping back. Dinosaur breeding experience and precautions. Damn it, is there a bug in this system? Dinosaurs have been extinct for many years. What's the use of precautions and farming experience? Can you still transform dinosaurs? Dinosaurs are all here, why don't you get a dragon to raise them? Looking at the breeding encyclopedia in my mind, Lin Chen is constantly complaining about the system. It's okay in the front, but what is recorded in the back is more and more absurd. It's really a full set of breeding encyclopedia, really a full set. Little brother, come on, what are you asking us to do? Just as Lin Chen was reviewing the complete breeding list in his mind, the third sister Lin Wan walked over with the fourth sister Lin Ting, the fifth sister Lin Yu, the sixth sister Lin Ling, the seventh sister Lin Shi, and the eighth sister Lin Jiao. Big sister Lin Shi and second sister Lin Xia had breakfast and went down to work with their mother. Clean up our pigsty. In the future, we will raise pigs and let you eat meat every day. After listening to Lin Chen's words, his sisters rolled their eyes together. Why didn't our family raise pigs in the first place? It's just that we don't have enough food to eat, and people can't eat enough. So we have extra food to raise pigs. Now, after deducting the public grain paid in, there is only enough left to eat at home. What should we use to raise pigs? Do we rely solely on pig grass? However, although they were skeptical in their hearts, they still started working. There wasn't much in the pigsty, and a few of them cleaned it up quickly, treating it as playing with their own little brother. As long as he didn't go into the mountains anymore, they could do anything at home. Looking at the skeptical expression on his sister's faces, Lin Chen did not explain. He has long thought about the source of pigs. He doesn't raise domestic pigs, he wants to raise wild boars. When he went hunting in the mountains yesterday, he found a huge herd of wild boars, with a population of about three to four hundred. This refers to adult wild boars, not including those piglets. If we include the piglets, the number will be even greater. Lin Chen is planning to find a time to catch some wild boar cubs in the mountains and come back to raise them. There is a complete breeding guide provided by the system, and raising 20 to 30 wild boar cubs is not a problem. Are wild boars also pigs? Of course, this cannot be said now, otherwise when these sisters in our family know about it, their plans will be ruined. They would rather not eat meat in the future than agree to go into the mountains. They are already very worried and nervous when they go into the mountain to hunt a few wild chickens and rabbits. If they know they want to go into the mountain to catch wild boars, they must tie themselves up. The combat power of that wild boar cannot be compared to that of wild chickens and rabbits. Not to mention wild chickens and rabbits, tigers and bears dare not confront each other hard before the year of the wild boar. As an eight-year-old child, catching wild boars is like seeking death. Today is the first day of February. Please collect and recommend it. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Capturing Wild Boar Cubs. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 Capturing Wild Boar Cubs Lin Chen wants to raise pigs, so he needs to first solve the problem with the piglets. Except for the older sister Lin Shi, the other sisters all came back for Sunday. After staying at home for two days, they all returned to school on Sunday afternoon. When the sisters returned to school this time, each of them brought a lunch box of fried rabbit meat. Compared to before, 
this time they were very luxurious. Lin Chen didn't sell all the wild chickens and rabbits that he caught on Friday. He also kept a few for his own children to improve their diet and supplement their health. Ha, huh, finally we're leaving. Watching the sisters who left home with their village friends to go to school, Lin Chen breathed a sigh of relief. He couldn't go either these days and just waited in his own yard, which had suffocated him. Now, except for the older sister, all other sisters have gone to school, and Lin Chen can go out again. Sister Lin Shi and her parents went to the field to harvest corn, leaving him alone at home. The pigsty in the yard was cleaned by several sisters yesterday, and any wild boar cubs can be put in for feeding at any time. Bring your slingshot, Lin Chen is ready to enter the mountain again. Although Lin's father, mother, an elder sister repeatedly confessed and emphasized that he was not allowed to enter the mountain, how could he not enter the mountain? Where did the piglets come from? Besides, with his current strength, as long as he doesn't go too deep into the mountains, he shouldn't encounter any danger. Tigers, bears, and wolves, without any special circumstances, usually do not wander around the outskirts of the mountains. The edge of the mountains is not only food scarce, but also dangerous because there is a large amount of human habitation, and in the eyes of animals, humans are the most dangerous creatures. Of course, he wears a slingshot just to show off, otherwise how can he explain the wild chickens and rabbits he caught? The last time he hunted wild chickens and rabbits at home, except for a few that he ate, all the rest were sold by Father Lin. Now there is no meat left at home, so this time entering the forest is not only to catch wild boar cubs, but also to prepare to hunt a few more wild chickens and rabbits. This time, if there are too many, Father Lin will still sell them. If sold, it won't achieve Lin Chen's goal of helping his family with health supplements. Shua. Lin Chen didn't walk through the gate this time, but jumped out directly from the back wall of the yard. It is not easy to jump a two-meter wall with the first the nine yang manual. Not to mention about two meters, even if it's over ten meters, it won't be difficult for him. It's not that Lin Chen doesn't want to walk through the gate, but that the gate is locked and he can't get out, so he can only jump off the wall. After jumping out of the yard, Lin Chen quickly ran towards the mountains. His time was limited, and if he couldn't come back before his parents and older sister finished work, the consequences would be very serious. A meal of bamboo board stir-fried meat was inevitable, so he had to hurry. At this time, there were not many people on the road, adults were working in the fields, and children were playing in the village, so no one saw Lin Chen enter the mountain. Quickly, after spending over half an hour, Lin Chen arrived at the place where the wild boar herd lived. This place is even deeper than the place where Lin Chen barbecued last time. The wild boar herd lives in a small valley, where there is a large pool where all the water flowing from the mountain gathers. It's called a pond, but in fact, it's more appropriate to call it a small lake. This small lake has a radius of kilometers, and according to Lin Chen's observation, its water depth can also be around 10 meters. It is not possible to see large fish crossing the water surface in the lake, and there are also birds hovering above the water surface from time to time, looking for opportunities to prey on fish in the water. It is precisely because of the existence of this small lake that so many wild boars have gathered here. This place has penetrated nearly a hundred miles into the mountains, and few people have left their footprints, even the hunters from Lingia village rarely come here. The road is difficult and dangerous, and no hunter is willing to take risks here. It is precisely because few hunters come here that the number of wild boar herds here is so huge. The rugged and difficult road is nothing to Lin Chen. After practicing the the nine yang manual, you can't treat Lin Chen as an ordinary child. The steep and dangerous mountain road is no different from the wide and flat road to him. There are many wild boars living in this valley at this time. Most of the wild boars soak their bodies in water, and some adult wild boars are using their mouths to arch the ground, nibbling on the grass roots, wild fruit roots, and so on. Those numerous little wild boar cubs, some follow their parents, while others play and frolic together. What should I do? 
Lin Chen looked at the little wild boar cub in the valley and kept pondering in his heart. Forcefully rushing in is definitely not possible. In this valley, there are probably no less than a thousand wild boars of all sizes living. Not to mention Lin Chen, an eight-year-old child, even a fierce tiger cannot withstand the impact of the wild boar herd. What if Lin Chen has the Nine Yang Manual? If he is an adult, he is not afraid of the Nine Yang Manual. He will kill all the adult wild boars who attacked him. Then he took the wild boar out to eat meat. He was an adult and would hunt a few wild boars. Even if others saw him, they wouldn't be too surprised, they would only marvel at his prowess and ability to even hunt wild boars. The key now is that he is only an eight-year-old child. If he takes out a wild boar weighing several hundred pounds, what others will think when they see it? They will definitely treat him as a monster. Experienced hunters in the village dare not easily hunt wild boars. Can an eight-year-old doll kill an adult wild boar? Who is a monster if you are not a monster? This situation, not only in the current era where information is not yet developed, but also in the earth where information was highly developed in the past, will cause a huge sensation. There will definitely be a large number of news media paying attention to him, and some institutions want to study him. This situation is not what Lin Chen wants. In the face of insufficient strength, it is better to maintain a low dot key in stable development, and try to avoid exposing oneself as much as possible. Just as Lin Chen was trying to figure out a way, suddenly he saw a group of wild boar cubs far away from the herd and approaching the valley mouth. His eyes lit up and he felt a sense of attention in his heart. Isn't there a recipe for pig feed in the breeding encyclopedia I signed in yesterday? Both domestic and wild boars love to eat the pig feed prepared with the recipe, which is very tempting to them. Just use that kind of feed to lure out the young wild boars. Do as you please. There are ingredients for preparing that kind of feed in the mountains, so it's not difficult to find. Soon, an enhanced version of the special pig feed was prepared, and the reason for the enhancement was to lure out those young wild boars. Lin Chen took these pig feed and cautiously approached the group of about 30 to 40 young wild boars, then slowly scattered the feed in his hand, gradually luring these young wild boars out of the valley. Not far from the valley mouth, Lin Chen has dug a trap and is waiting for these little wild boars to come over. Don't worry, the formula provided by the system is amazing. As soon as the feed is sprinkled, those little wild boar cubs who smell it can't wait to run over and start devouring it crazily. That scene was like a swarm of crazy snatches. Quickly, Lin Chen used the feed in his hand to guide these little wild boar cubs into the trap he had set up beforehand. Watching the little wild boar cubs falling into the trap and frantically grabbing feed to eat, Lin Chen's heart was filled with surprise. This kind of feed is really useful. There are probably more than 30 little wild boar cubs falling into the trap, each weighing 6 or 7 pounds. The 30 or so piglets weigh about 200 pounds, which is not a big deal for Lin Chen. Although he is only 8 years old, after practicing the first the Nine Yang Manual, his strength now is at least 2 or 3 kilos, which is horrible and abnormal. A weight of over 200 pounds is really nothing to him. Fortunately, he prepared a large and sturdy bamboo basket in advance when he arrived, so he could carry these wild boar cubs away at once. Do whatever you say, take advantage of the fact that the adult wild boars in the valley haven't discovered them, and quickly get rid of these wild boar cubs before proceeding. In less than three minutes, all the wild boar cubs were caught by Lin Chen in the bamboo basket. Because he had prepared feed in the basket, these little wild boar cubs did not call out, but competed with their companions for feed to eat, leaving Lin Chen with a lot of trouble. After putting all the wild boar cubs into the bamboo basket, Lin Chen quickly picked up a bamboo basket that was about his height and left here. The task of entering the mountain was completed, and with these more than 30 wild boar cubs, he didn't need to come here for a long time in the future. With these more than 30 wild boar cubs, their family will have a continuous supply of pork to eat in the future. Even carrying a wild boar weighing over 200 pounds on his back, 
Lin Chen walked steep mountain roads as if walking on flat ground. It took some more time to come out than to go in, after all, carrying over 200 pounds of things on my back, so it's normal to spend more time. With so many wild boar cubs, Lin Chen couldn't have carried them all at once, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to explain. Lin Chen was also prepared for this situation before entering the mountain. After leaving the mountain, he found a relatively hidden place, dug a pit about one meter long, put all the wild boar cubs in the bamboo basket, and sprinkled some feed into the pit. The pit was covered tightly with wild grass and branches, and then he left. He is going to his own field to call his parents and elder sister over and have them transport these wild boar cubs home, so that the matter can be explained easily. This place is not far from his family's dry land, and soon Lin Chen arrived in the field. Coincidentally, the elder sister and parents filled the cart with harvested corn and were about to leave. Little brother, why did you come? Seeing Lin Chen coming over, big sister Lin she was also surprised. Sister, the trap I made before caught a group of wild boar cubs and I want you to help me get them home. What? You're not obedient anymore, are you? Upon hearing about the wild boar cub, Lin Shi immediately became anxious. Is that thing like a wild boar something that ordinary people can provoke? Lin Shi, who was full of anxiety, never considered how her younger brother got out of the yard. Her heart was filled with concerns about his safety. Lin's parents were also anxious and quickly put down the rope in their hands and walked over. No, no, I didn't go into the mountain. I just dug a trap at the foot of the mountain. I just went over to play and found a litter of little wild boar cubs falling inside. Lin Chen looked at his parents with a nervous expression and his older sister with a changed expression, quickly denying it. At this point, one cannot admit anything. Who, upon hearing that they had not entered the mountain, Lin's parents and Lin Shi's tense expressions eased. Where is the wild boar cub? Lin Shi asked. There, it's not far from our house, Lin Chen pointed to the foot of the mountain several hundred meters away. Okay, let your parents take the corn home, and big sister will come with you to get the wild boar cub back, Lin Shi said. Sister, I'm afraid this won't work. There are quite a few wild boar cubs, and you can't finish them all by yourself. Mom and you two need to go, Lin Chen said awkwardly. It's really hard to pretend to be childish. Lin Chen keeps roast that if he were older now, he wouldn't have to pretend to be so hard or so troublesome. In the end, the wild boar cub was brought home by Lin Mu and Lin Shi together. New week, please collect and recommend, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Making Money You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Making Money 36 Young Wild Boars Were All Released and Raised in the Pigsty in the Yard Lin Chen could clearly see the joy that came from his parents' faces to his heart, and his furrowed brows, which had always been under the pressure of life, also eased a bit. It seems that he went to catch the young wild boar, and the move of raising pigs was also right. Just thinking about it, in this era where people have just had enough to eat, meat is a scarce material and very valuable, let alone something that ordinary families can afford. After these thirty little wild boar cubs are raised, whether they eat meat or sell money, they can greatly alleviate the pressure on their family. After all, the eight sisters are all in school, and tuition and living expenses alone cost a lot of money in a year. Based on Lin Chen's understanding of his parents, when these wild boar cubs grow up, at most one will be kept for their siblings to eat, and the rest will be sold entirely. Some will be used to pay his sister's tuition fees, while the rest will be saved for him to use in marrying a wife. It seems that I need to find another way to earn some money first. Even if there is a feed formula provided by the system, it will take three to four months for these wild boar cubs to grow, but I can't wait that long. Where can I start making money? Lin Chen thought to himself as he chewed on the meat in his mouth. Meat was a wild chicken caught later this afternoon when he went into the mountain to catch wild boar cubs. Lin Chen didn't dare to catch more, so he caught three of them, all alive. When he came out, 
He caught these wild chickens with vines and placed them next to the wild boar cubs, pretending to have been caught by a trap. Three wild chickens, one was killed at night, and the other two were kept in cages for later consumption. Also, in these short three days, their family has eaten more meat than in the past few months. In the eyes of Lin Chen's parents, life is too luxurious, and they should live frugally. Life is not like this. The wild chickens caught this time were very large. After killing each one, the net weight was over eight pounds. With so much meat, it was enough for the four of them to eat two meals. Little brother, come and eat meat. There's a lot of meat here, you eat more. Just as Lin Chen was pondering how to make money quickly, the elder sister Lin she put a piece of meat into his bowl. It's okay, big sister doesn't need to give it to me. You eat, I'm full. Lin Chen quickly covered his bowl. Sister Lin she is also very hardworking, and Lin Chen also wants his sister to eat more meat to supplement her. By the way, when will you return to school, big sister? It's almost time, it should only be in these few days. The materials and information have been collected and organized by the elder sister. After returning to school, she is ready to start writing her graduation thesis. Seeing that her younger brother really doesn't want it, Lin she didn't force it and instead put the meat into her mother's bowl. Sister Lin she studied financial economics and wrote her graduate thesis on economics. Lin Chen had heard her sister say once before that the topic seemed to be about how to develop the rural economy, but he didn't know the specifics. The reason why Sister Lin she stayed at home for so long is because of her phone data and materials. Sister, do you have enough travel and living expenses? If it's not enough, I'll go buy a few more sets in the next few days to see if I can catch some wild chickens and rabbits, and let Dad sell them to you as travel expenses. No need, the money is enough. Your sister and I are currently graduate students, and the country provides subsidies every month. Little brother, please don't go hunting prey anymore. It's dangerous in the mountains. Lin she felt a little anxious when she heard that her own little brother was going to catch prey again, so she put down her bowl and quickly said. It's okay, your younger brother and I won't go into the mountain again. It's right where we caught the wild boar today. It's not far from our house. What can happen there? You can say it's dad, Lin Chen said, turning his head to look at his dad who was buried eating. In this family, the father is the true head of the family. There is basically no objection to what the father agrees and decides on, and only Lin Chen has objections. Neither his mother nor his sister will object. Okay, but you can't go into the mountain, you can only set a trap at the foot of the mountain. Lin's father thought for a moment and agreed to Lin Chen. Father Lin also realized that his hard.earned son was not a fuel.efficient lamp or a quiet master. Since childhood, this son from my own family has always been different from ordinary people and has behaved differently. I haven't washed my son's diaper or anything since I was young, and after eating at night, I don't cry or sleep until dawn. Even if I wake up in the middle, I lie quietly there and never make a fuss. I can speak in eight months, and I can jog at the age of one. Looking at now, at the age of only eight, I can hunt alone, and I have gained more than those experienced old hunters in the village. The wild chickens and rabbits I sold at the market yesterday were sold for over 2,000 yuan, which is the net income of my family's 10 acres of land for half a year. And today, there are over 30 little wild boar cubs. If they grow up, they can probably sell for tens of thousands just for money. Wild boar meat is very expensive. In the county hotel, one pound of wild boar meat costs more than ten yuan. He could also see that his own son was intentionally trying to lighten the burden on his wife. With such a sensible son, he was not satisfied. Let's just hunt, as long as we don't go into the mountains. As for boys, it would be better to be more lively and practical. Kill the other two wild chickens tomorrow and give your child more nourishment, Lin's father said to Lin's mother next to him. After finishing these words, he turned his head to Lin Chen and said, From now on, our family's meat will all rely on you. 
You need to lay more traps, but you can't go into the mountains. Dad, can this work? He's only eight years old, Lin's mother said reluctantly when she heard Lin's father's words. My son is the flesh of my mother's heart, and Lin's mother doesn't want her son to be in any danger. Mom, it's okay, I'll just play and catch it. We have meat to eat, and if we can't catch it, you can't blame me. Lin Chen quickly acted coquettishly when he saw his mother opposing. He was trying to figure out how to make money, but his father gave him such a great opportunity. If he didn't seize it quickly, he wouldn't regret it in the future. All right, it's okay. We haven't seen wolves in our village for many years, as long as we don't go into the mountains, Lin Fu said with a firm tone. Okay. Seeing that her husband had already made a decision, Lin's mother did not object, but the concern in her eyes did not disappear. If both of her parents agreed, Lin she wouldn't say anything. She could only repeatedly remind her younger brother to pay more attention to safety. In the future, Lin Chen's excitement of being able to hunt openly and honestly can be imagined, and even his appetite has increased. Dad, if you sell the prey I caught for money, you'll have to share a portion of the money with me, Lin Chen said while eating, pretending to be cute. What do you want money for? Sister Lin she was very curious. Save money to marry a daughter dot in dot law, and also save money to use as your dowry for the eldest sister, Lin Chen said cutely. Puff. Upon hearing Lin Chen's answer, not only did Lin's father and mother laugh, but even the older sister Lin she almost spat out the food in her mouth. You little brat, how old are you? Do you know what a daughter dot in dot law is? Even if you save money to marry a daughter dot in dot law, you're not shy. Sister Lin she teased Lin Chen with her tender finger on his forehead. Anyway, I don't care. If you sell the money, you'll give me a portion, Lin Chen deliberately coquettishly said. Without money, he can't do anything. Without money, he can't do anything. If he doesn't save more money now, his future plans won't be able to proceed. Okay, here you go. The money we'll sell in the future will be split equally between the two of us. It's okay, but when it comes to how old you are, you'll start thinking about your wife. Lin's father also began to tease Lin Chen. Why don't dad go to Uncle Hai's house next door to propose a baby kiss for you and treat his happy girl as your daughter? In law. No, I'm not interested in little brats. I don't want a wife, just grab food with me, Lin Chen said deliberately. His goal is not to save money to marry his wife, but to save his own starting funds. Ha ha ha. Upon hearing Lin Chen's answer, Lin's parents and Lin she burst into laughter. Lin's father, who is laughing happily now, doesn't know that it is precisely this sentence that makes him regret wanting to hit his head against a wall in the future. System, check that I n. At night, lying in his own bed, Lin Chen began to sign in once a day. Successfully signed in and obtained a comprehensive collection of greenhouse vegetable planting techniques. What is it? Greenhouse vegetable planting techniques. I have been involved in farming and animal husbandry. Yesterday's complete set of farming techniques and today's greenhouse vegetable planting techniques are aimed at making my path to farming and animal husbandry further and further. This system cannot provide me with any miraculous medicine to accelerate my cultivation. If it doesn't work, I can still get some gold. What can I do with my greenhouse vegetable cultivation skills? I can't grow greenhouse vegetables now. This thing requires a lot of investment and will cost a lot of money. Upon careful consideration, this thing is also useful to him. When is it now? It's 2000, and out-of-season vegetables have not yet fully become popular and promoted. If he could plant vegetables that can only be grown in summer during the snowy winter, then he could still earn less money. In winter, especially during the Chinese New Year, the whole country lacks vegetables, especially in the north. In winter, only cabbage and radish can be eaten, and only celery and other summer vegetables such as beans, cucumbers, chili peppers, and eggplants can be bought during the Chinese New Year. You can hardly see them in winter, and even if there are, 
they are not something that ordinary people can buy. Planting greenhouse vegetables is indeed a very profitable business. As for the money for building a shelter, I don't have it now, but I will soon have it. With so many wild chickens and rabbits in the mountains, isn't that all money? I don't need to capture too much every day. About ten per day, I can sell for seven or eight hundred yuan. Seven or eight hundred yuan per day, and two to three thousand yuan per month. Even if I could get half of it myself, it would still be over ten thousand. This money is enough to buy materials for building the greenhouse. Anyway, he doesn't plan to make it too big in the early stage. Should he accumulate experience first and expand the scale when he has more experience in the future? Well, this can be available. The system has begun to instill greenhouse vegetable planting techniques. Since it has been decided to start greenhouse planting, Lin Chen must have absorbed and digested this knowledge. Upon receiving Lin Chen's command, the system quickly infused all the greenhouse vegetable planting techniques into his mind. New week, please collect and recommend, thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Hunting You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Hunting Three days later, after the autumn harvest at home, the older sister Lin she also boarded the train back to school. She will graduate in June next year, and she will also go back to prepare her thesis, after all, the requirements for graduate thesis are still very strict. After the elder sister Lin she left, there were only Lin's father, Lin's mother, and Lin Chen left at home. Lin Chen's parents took advantage of the winter and had to dig over the ground during the day, leaving only him at home. These three days, Lin Chen did not enter the mountain but deliberately set traps and set traps at the location he had chosen at the foot of the mountain. This place is so close to the village, of course there cannot be any wild chickens or rabbits, so he has gained nothing in the past three days. During dinner at night, he deliberately pretended to be very depressed and unhappy, trying to persuade his older sister and parents, and then he pretended to be very angry and said he must catch the prey. What is the purpose? The purpose is to relax the vigilance of his family and lay the groundwork for capturing more prey in the future. So far, Lin Chen has signed in for six days. Except the first day when he signed in for a The Nine Yang Manual, the other days have nothing to do with the skill. In the past six days, he signed in and obtained a complete set of breeding materials, greenhouse vegetable planting techniques, 300 kilograms of fertilizer to accelerate plant growth, 10 bags of special dog food, 10 kilograms per bag, and a mountain cutter made of special alloy, which is incredibly sharp. Lin Chen once tried the quality of this knife, which was quite abnormal. Cutting hard boulders was like cutting tofu, without any effort. The steel bar, which is the thickness of a thumb, breaks easily. Fertilizer that accelerates plant growth is also quite powerful, not only can it accelerate plant growth, but more importantly, it can also increase yield. For example, for grain, if one acre of land can produce 700 kilograms of grain, using this special fertilizer can double the yield, which is 1,400 kilograms. More importantly, this type of fertilizer only requires 10 kilograms per acre of land. Using this special fertilizer can not only alleviate the burden on farmers, but more importantly, increase their income. Special dog food, since it is considered special, definitely has its own unique features. The dog food obtained through system check that IN can not only accelerate the growth rate of the dog, but also improve its intelligence, making the intelligence of the dog comparable to that of children aged 5 or 6. A system-produced product must be a masterpiece. Although he did not sign in for the martial arts secrets and miraculous medicines he wanted, Lin Chen was already satisfied with these things, especially the fertilizer that accelerates plant growth. For him who is about to start greenhouse planting, it is definitely a timely and rainy storage. After seeing that there were no problems with the wild boar cubs in the pigsty, Lin Chen was ready to go out and go hunting in the mountains. This time entering the mountain, he plans to catch more wild chickens and rabbits. After all, it is already the end of October, and if he wants to plant greenhouse vegetables, he also needs to start building a greenhouse. 
so he needs to catch more wild chickens and rabbits to sell money and buy materials. Where do the materials for building greenhouse vegetables come from without enough money? So these three days, Lin Chen set up more than 200 traps at the foot of the mountain just to catch more prey and sell money. Firstly, it was to provide cover for him to enter the mountain, and secondly, it was to catch more prey and sell money. If there are too few traps and too many prey being caught, how can he explain? Therefore, it is necessary for him to set so many traps. Fortunately, the place where he set the trap is very remote, and basically someone goes there, so there is no need to worry about someone destroying the trap. Carrying a bamboo basket and carrying tools, Lin Chen went out into the mountains. Although the system comes with a built-in space, this space can only store items produced by the system. External objects cannot be placed inside, otherwise Lin Chen doesn't need to take anything. It would be great if the captured prey could be placed directly in the space. Today, Lin Chen's goal is to have 100 to 150 wild chickens and rabbits. If there are 100, he can sell them for 7 or 8,000 yuan, so he basically has enough money to buy materials. Don't worry about having too many wild chickens and rabbits to sell, that situation is simply impossible. Game is very popular among restaurants in the county, especially in some high. End restaurants. People who can go to these restaurants are wealthy and powerful, and they don't care about the price. What they want is whether the food itself is delicious and whether it meets their appetite. These people eat without looking at the price of food, they only care about whether the food is worth the price and whether it can satisfy themselves. In a parallel world, the area of Earth is a hundred times that of its predecessor, and the population is certainly much larger than that of its predecessor. For example, the county town to which Linjia village belongs has a resident population of over one million, which is already the population of some prefecture-level cities on Earth in previous lifetimes. But in Dixing, this is just a small county town with a negligible population. According to information learned by Lin Chen from books, in Xia Kingdom, some large county towns have a resident population of over 10 million. This was incomparable to the earth in the past life, so not to mention a hundred wild chickens and rabbits, ten times more is not enough for the market to digest. At first, Lin Chen definitely wouldn't sell too much wild game. He understands the principle of a steady stream, which not only won't attract others' attention, but also allows him to make a fortune quietly. Why not do it? As soon as he entered the mountain, the wild chickens and rabbits in the area were unlucky. Autumn is the time when wild game is the fattest and most beautiful. In less than an hour, Lin Chen captured 120 wild chickens and rabbits. There were more than 80 wild rabbits and fewer wild chickens, with over 30 wild rabbits. The total weight of these over a hundred wild chickens and rabbits combined has exceeded a thousand pounds. It is impossible to put them in a bamboo basket alone. Fortunately, it is not far from the place where he set the trap. If he rushes with all his might, he will not live for about ten minutes each time. In ten minutes, it is not a big problem for these prey he has caught to be placed here, after all, this is not deep in the mountains, and there are no large carnivorous animals present. Shua, Lin Chen carried half of his prey on his shoulders and quickly ran towards the outside of the mountain. It took half an hour to finally bring all the wild chickens and rabbits to the place where he set the trap. The next step is to put these wild chickens and rabbits into the trap he had set before, and then go to the field to bring their parents over and take them home. Everything looks perfect and reasonable in this way, and his parents won't doubt him either. After finishing all this, Lin Chen looked up and saw that the sun was about to set. So he quickly ran to his own field and called his parents over. At first, when he said it, his parents didn't believe it. They hadn't caught a single prey in the past three days. So, today they caught over a hundred at once. You're not making up such a lie. But with Lin Chen's repeated promises, his parents still rushed with him in a car. Anyway, it was time to finish work and go home at this time, so he had the right to play with his son. The place where Lin Chen set the trap was also the way home after all. 
When Lin Chen's parents drove to the place where he had set the trap, they were immediately stunned by the scene before them. Wild rabbits and chickens fluttering their wings were everywhere in the grass. Son, is this what you captured? Father Lin looked at the scene in front of him and couldn't believe his eyes for a moment. He couldn't even speak fluently. How did you do it? I don't know either. When I came over to take a look just now, I found that there were many wild rabbits and chickens trapped here, so I quickly went over and called you. Oh, stop talking, hurry up and get these rabbits and chickens on the car. It won't be good if someone sees them later, Lin Chen urged. It's not that Lin Chen deliberately urged, but rather that he doesn't want his parents to ask too much. The more questions he asks, the easier it is to reveal the truth. Also, after listening to Lin Chen's words, Lin's father and mother quickly took action and tied up all the wild rabbits and chickens and put them on their own ox-drawn cart. Then he covered it with a layer of grass and drove home with a cart. Dad, tomorrow when you go to the city to sell rabbits, I want to go with you, Lin Chen said as he sat on the ox cart on the way. Oh, why are you afraid that your father will waste your money? Lin's father joked as he drove the car. Don't worry, whether you go or not, your father won't waste your money. Your money will be kept for you to marry a wife. Ha <laughs> ha. After listening to his father's words, Lin Chen rolled his eyes. He was really speechless, and the topic of marrying a wife seemed to be unavoidable. No, I just want to follow you to the city to see. I haven't been to the city yet, Lin Chen began to act coquettishly. What he said is true. Lin Chen is already eight years old, and he has not entered the county town in the past eight years. He has not even visited the Lin family village a few times, except for visiting relatives. Lin Chen's purpose in entering the city was not to sell game money, but to understand the information of this era, after all, there are some things he cannot learn from books. Simply put, he is going to investigate the market and prepare for his future plans. Okay, just go ahead, I'm afraid you won't be able to get up later. There were over a hundred wild animals in the car, and Lin's father was also in a good mood. These are all thanks to their own son. With so many wild games, they can be sold for at least eight or nine thousand yuan when brought to the county town. This is the net income of their entire family for two years. If their son wants to follow them to the city, he can go there. Son, bring these two wild chickens to Uncle Hai's house next door. After all, if you still want to marry someone else's daughter in the future, make a good relationship with your father. In law in advance. After getting home, Father Lin smiled and tiptoed up two eight or nine pound wild chickens, handing them to Lin Chen. Even though Lin Chen has been a person of two generations, when he heard Lin's father's words, his face turned red with embarrassment. All right, all right, you're such a big dad now that you don't have a proper figure. Is there anyone who jokes about your son like this? Lin's mother couldn't bear to watch. Son, hurry up and send these two wild chickens to your Uncle Hai's house. Your third grandmother is sick, so let Uncle Hai cook chicken soup for her to make up for it. Okay mom, I'll go right away. After saying that, Lin Chen took two wild chickens and walked towards Uncle Hai's house. Once it's delivered, come back quickly. Mom will make you spicy rabbit meat to eat tonight. Lin's mother's admonition came from behind. Although Uncle Hai's family is neighbors of Lin Chen's, they are also about 50 meters apart because Lin Chen's yard is relatively large. In Linjia village, not only is the courtyard of Lin Chen's family relatively large, but also other families. Linjia village does not lack land, what they lack is fertile land, and there is a lot of wasteland in Linjia village. Is Uncle Hai at home? Arriving at the entrance of Uncle Hai's house, Lin Chen shouted loudly and walked into the courtyard. The house was open and there must be someone at home. Wang 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 as soon as Lin Chen entered the door, a big yellow dog rushed out and kept barking at him. De Huang, don't you know me anymore? Lin Chen shouted loudly when he saw the De Huang dog. De Huang stopped shouting when he saw it was Lin Chen, wagged his tail at him, 
and then went back to his own nest. Lin Chen knew him and often came to play with his little owner. He even gave him bones to eat, so he was not a bad person. Who is it? Upon hearing the sound, a middle dot aged man walked out of the room. The middle dot aged man was wearing a gray shirt and a pair of glasses, exuding a scholarly aura that was vividly portrayed on him. This person is none other than the Hai Shu mentioned by Lin Chen, who is also the principal and teacher of Linjia Village Primary School. Please collect and recommend, thank you. 100 recommended tickets with one more chapter have been sent out, and the contract has been mailed out. You can rest assured to collect the recommended tickets. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Selling Game in the City You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Selling Game in the City At 6 o'clock in the morning, the sky in Linjia Village was not yet fully bright. At this time, Lin Chen had already been called up to have breakfast because today he was going to the city with his father to sell game. After finishing breakfast, Lin Chen got on the ox cart driven by his father and set off. They are going to the county town today, which is nearly a hundred miles away from their Linjia village. It will take about four or five hours to arrive by the ox cart, so they set off early and can still come back before dark at night. Otherwise, if they are too late, they won't be able to come back today. Lin Chen was wrapped in a cotton coat and half lying on the ox cart. In late autumn, the weather in the mountain village was still very cold. In order to prevent Lin Chen from freezing, Lin's mother specially gave him a large cotton jacket to wear in winter. In fact, it doesn't matter whether he wears the Nine Yang Manual or not. The The Nine Yang Manual is a skill that reaches the highest level of the sun. The temperature in autumn, let alone, is minus 10 degrees. Lin Chen can wear a single coat. But these Lin mothers didn't know, so he obediently followed his mother's request and wrapped himself in a cotton coat. Don't even say, it's really warm. From Linjia village, there is a winding mountain road that is about 10 kilometers long. The mountain road is not easy to walk, and it takes about an hour to walk alone. Once you leave the mountain road, the road becomes easier to walk on. Once you leave the mountain road, it is a provincial road that leads directly to the county town. Moreover, the provincial road is very wide and has six lanes in both directions. In this era, nobody has much money, so there are not many cars on the provincial road. The most common ones are ox carts and carriages like Lin Chen, which are also used to go to the county town. On those ox carts and horse-drawn carriages, there were full of goods or grains, and it was clear that they were being sold in the county town. After the sun came out, the weather became warmer and warmer. Lin Chen, who was half lying on the cart, fell asleep again. By the time he woke up, the cart had already arrived at the county town. Wake up, are you hungry? Lin's father asked as he watched Lin Chen wake up. I'm not hungry, I had a full breakfast. Don't worry for now. After selling these wild rabbits and chickens, dad will take you out to eat delicious food at noon. In the county town, ox carts are not allowed to enter the central area of the county. This is done first to not affect traffic, and second to ensure the safety of these ox carts and carriages. After all, the central area of the county town is the busiest with a lot of vehicles. Although ox carts and horse-drawn carriages cannot enter the central area of the county, there are farmer's markets in all four corners of the county. The game pulled by Lin Chen and his team can be sold at the farmer's market, where there are many restaurants and hotel purchasers who purchase the necessary materials every day. The number of cars in the county town is obviously higher than on the provincial road. After all, this is also a city with a population of one million. With such a large population, there are always some people who have become wealthy first. It is normal to have many cars. Quickly, Father Lin arrived at the farmer's market on the east side of the county town with his ox cart. Before entering the farmer's market, Lin Chen felt the hot atmosphere of the market, the cries of various livestock, the voices of people bargaining, and the whole scene was full of enthusiasm. As soon as the cart of Lin Chen's family stopped, several people gathered around. 
these people were all kitchen and purchasing staff from the county hotel, and their eyes were very sharp. They could tell at a glance that the rabbits and collectibles on the cart were all wild. Whether it's the brightness of hair or the energy of rabbits and pheasants, they are not comparable to those of domesticated animals. In this era, wild game is also very popular. As people gradually become wealthy and have money in their hands, they begin to enjoy material things. Although domesticated meat has a good taste, it still cannot compare to wild meat. Wild meat is more fragrant and has a better taste. What big hotels want is reputation. There are many people in the county, but competition among hotels is also fierce. If a hotel wants to attract more people to dine, in addition to the chef's cooking skills and good hotel service, what is more important is that your ingredients are good. My fellow villager, how do you sell this game? Lin Chen just got off the car when a middle-aged fat man with a black briefcase asked. What price do you offer? Let's listen first. We're all wild game here, and if the price is lower, we won't sell it. Before Lin's father could speak, Lin Chen spoke up first. Based on his previous life experience, the person in front of him was a wealthy master, and the few people next to him couldn't compare with the fat guy asking for the price. Yo ha, are you quite smart, little one? The chubby man laughed when he heard Lin Chen's words. Can you touch your rabbit, fellow villager, the middle-aged chubby man asked Lin's father. Sure, you can check as you please. If it's not a game, we won't pay for it and we'll give it to you for free. Lin's father is very confident in his own game. He has tasted both rabbit meat and chicken, and the taste and taste are really indescribable. It's not something that domestic rabbits and old hens can compare to. He is sometimes curious why he eats wild game at the same time. What he ate before was not as delicious as what he does now. After receiving a positive response from Father Lin, the chubby man didn't hesitate to open the cage and casually picked up a rabbit. This rabbit is not light, it must weigh at least 10 pounds, the fat man said while sliding the rabbit's ears. The lifted rabbit kept bouncing its legs in the fat man's hands. Feeling the powerful struggle of the rabbit in his hand, the chubby man knew that the rabbit was 100% wild, and the wild nature of domesticated animals was not as great. It's not common to see rabbits weighing over 10 pounds. Looking at the car, there are about 70 or 80, as well as more than 20 wild chickens. This can't be missed. Their hotel's spicy rabbit meat is unique, and there is also stir-fried chicken. With these wild animals, it can attract more repeat customers to the hotel. I'll give you 12 yuan per kilogram, you rabbit. I'll cover it all. For a wild chicken, it's 10 yuan per kilogram. What do you think? If it's okay, we'll go to the scale and I'll pay in cash. The fat man pondered for a moment and said to his father Lin confidently. Okay, close the deal. Before Lin's father could speak, Lin Chen readily agreed. This price is not low anymore. In the earth of the 21st century, the price of rabbits was similar. How much does pork cost per kilogram now? One pound of pork is only about six yuan, and now one pound of wild rabbit meat is worth two pounds of pork. He has nothing to be dissatisfied with. Okay, since all my children have agreed, then let's go over the price. Lin's father is not foolish either. The price he sold last time was one dot third lower than this. Being a person should be content and not too greedy. If calculated at this price, the game in his car can be sold for nearly 12,000 yuan. You should know that this is over 10,000 yuan from 2,000, which is very valuable. Then let's go and weigh over there. Watching the fat man offer such a high price, the few people next to them could only shake their heads and leave helplessly. They couldn't afford this price. The fat man didn't come alone, he came by car, and there was another driver looking at the car. There are 80 wild rabbits, with a total weight of 850 kilograms and 12 yuan per kilogram, totaling 10,200 yuan. 30 wild chickens, weighing 240 kilograms in total, cost 10 yuan per kilogram, 
which is 2,400 yuan. The rabbits and wild chickens together cost over 12,600 yuan. Here, this stack is 10,000, you count it, this is 2,006, a total of 12,006. After loading all the wild chickens and rabbits into his car, the fat man took out a stack of 100 yuan bills from his black briefcase, and then counted 20.6 and handed them to Father Lin. Lin's father was also polite, but he started counting the money in person. It was over 10,000 yuan, which was the family's net income for almost three years. There was nothing bad about counting it in person. Uncle, will you still have wild game in the future? Lin Chen didn't care about his father's money, but turned around and deliberately asked the chubby guy Q questions. Yes, as long as you have me, I will, but the prerequisite quality must be the same as this batch. The chubby man smiled as he looked at Lin Chen, who pretended to be cute. Fat guy is not stupid. Although he bought this batch of game at a high price, when he changed hands at their hotel, he could make at least five or six times the profit. The profit was second, and the most important thing was to retain a large number of returning customers. Nowadays, hotels in county towns are also difficult to operate. There is too much competition, and there are too many hotels to operate. The market is so large, and the more you occupy, the less it will be. Okay, we'll send you another batch in a few days. Oh, what you're saying is true. Do you still have any at home? The chubby guy thought Lin Chen was asking casually, but he didn't expect him to be serious. If there is such a batch of wild game in the hotel every few days, it will be very helpful for the hotel's business. Wild chickens and rabbits are different from those raised in the wild. The most important thing is that wild ones are difficult to catch, and their numbers are generally not very large. Well, yes, we are from Lingjia village. My name is Lin Chen, and our game is captured from the mountains. Upon hearing that it was Lingjia village, the chubby man also understood. Lingjia village is the largest village in Guangxi County and one of the very poor villages. It is backed by a large mountain and has inconvenient transportation. If it's people from Lingjia village who are fat, it's not surprising. Lingjia village is backed by a big mountain, and the mountains are not only wild chickens and rabbits, but also tigers and bears. Here, this is uncle's business card. If there are any more wild games in the future, you can find me here or at the hotel. The chubby man took out a business card and handed it to Lin Chen. Lin Chen's intelligence and cleverness made the fat guy really like him. Okay, every three days from now on, as long as it's not raining, we'll come here once. Lin Chen took the fat man's business card and said. On the business card is written the manager of the procurement department, Li Changjiang, at the Imperial Kitchen Hotel. Below is a phone number. The Imperial Kitchen Hotel. Judging from the fat guy's situation and the willingness to pay, the scale is definitely not small. Lin Chen calculated that his initial start dot up funds would definitely fall on this fat guy. Okay, every three days at noon from now on, as long as it doesn't rain, I'll be waiting for you here. The chubby guy took it seriously. Boss, there's nothing wrong, the quantity is correct. Father Lin also finished counting the money at this time and checked it again. The number was correct and there were no fake money. Okay, since there were no mistakes, then even if our transaction is completed, I can leave. I don't recognize any further situations after I leave. Children, don't forget that we will still be trading here in three days. After finishing speaking, the fat man got in the car and left. It was already time for dinner and he wanted to try out how this batch of wild game tasted. Let's go, son. Dad will take you to a restaurant to eat delicious food. Father Lin put away the money and said happily to Lin Chen. This more than 10,000 yuan can greatly alleviate the financial situation of the family. Being able to earn so much money is all thanks to my son, and it is also appropriate to take him to have a delicious meal. Don't worry about your meal, Dad, don't forget that there's half of me inside. Let's go shopping first, and it won't delay your meal. 
Lin Chen is not interested in going out to restaurants or anything else. He has a lot of things to buy when he goes to the city this time. He not only needs to buy materials for building greenhouses, but also some medicinal herbs, which are used to prepare various types of feed and bait. If you want to catch more game next time, you need to rely more on these specially configured bait. This book has been signed and the contract has been mailed. You can rest assured to collect it. For the new week, please collect and recommend it. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Preparation for Building a Greenhouse You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Preparation for Building a Greenhouse When it was dark, Lin Chen and his father finally drove the ox cart home, which was full of things. There are thick plastic films, thin steel wires, various vegetable seeds, bags of herbs, and some fertilizers. Anyway, it's all the forest pulling a cart. When they arrived home, Lin's mother had already prepared the meal and was waiting for them with some worries. Seeing that the father and son had safely arrived home, Lin's mother's worries disappeared and she began to arrange for them to wash up and prepare for dinner. The dinner was very rich, with stewed chicken, stir-fried vegetables, and a plate of pickled and crispy cucumbers at home. The main course was steamed rice. Lin Chen was also really hungry. He ate two bowls of rice and a small bowl of chicken for dinner. His abnormal appetite left Lin's father and mother stunned. This appetite is still the result of his intentional control. If he doesn't control it, he can barely eat all the food on this table. Cultivating the Nine Yang Manual consumes a lot of money, so it's reasonable to eat more. During the day in the county town, the two of them didn't have a good lunch either. They just ate a cake, mainly because Lin Chen had to buy a lot of things and was also in a hurry. At noon, neither father nor son had enough to eat, just to cushion their stomachs, so it was normal for them to have a lot of dinner. Is it possible to grow vegetables this winter, and do they grow well? During the meal, Lin's father had already told Lin's mother everything during the day. Especially when it comes to planting greenhouse vegetables, Lin Mu is worried that she won't be able to do so, which is why she asked this question. Mom, don't worry, it's definitely possible. These things are all what I read in books. Many places have already started to promote the cultivation of greenhouse vegetables on a large scale, which is strongly supported by the government. Moreover, vegetables grown in winter will have higher prices. Lin Chen didn't want to worry about his mother, so he used money to divert her attention. The reason why my mother is worried is simply because she is afraid of losing money. You should know that under a greenhouse, including labor, materials, seeds, fertilizers, and so on, investment alone would cost nearly 10,000 yuan. It is normal for Lin's mother to be worried about investing so much money. My family has finally improved a bit, money can't be wasted like this. Just listen to your son, and by the way, even if you really compensate, there will still be dozens of pigs in the family. The family's life will only get better and better in the future. The eldest is about to graduate, and he can also make money to support his family. I really don't know what you have to worry about. Lin's father is quite open-minded. He is just such a clever son from a young age, and if he wants to make a fuss, he will make a fuss. He's afraid of making a loss. If you really compensate, consider it as accumulating experience. Besides, the money itself was earned by him. It's a pity that everything will belong to him in the future. Okay, whatever you father and son say, don't just blame others when the time comes. Father Lin said so, and Mother Lin no longer opposed it. Dad, let's start building the greenhouse tomorrow and try to build it within three days as much as possible. After three days, you still have to go to the city to bring wild game to people, Lin Chen continued. Okay, after dinner, I'll go find your uncle San Jen and ask him to bring someone over tomorrow to build the greenhouse. However, son, what size greenhouse are you planning to build? I am planning to build two first, one covering an area of two acres, which would be four acres. This year, I will try water first. 
I will plant one acre of land for the same vegetable, and there will be four types of vegetables in total, namely Sichuan peppercorn, cucumber, long beans, and eggplant. The reason for planting these four types of vegetables is because they have a high yield. For example, Sichuan peppercorn, if one acre of land produces four to five thousand kilograms, it is not a problem. Cucumbers will have an additional 15,000 to 6,000 kilograms, eggplants will have more than 10,000 kilograms, and long beans will have 6 to 7 kilograms. A thousand pounds Lin Chen expressed what he had planned for a long time, and this yield is only the general yield. Don't forget, there is a special fertilizer of 300 kilograms in the system space. After using this fertilizer, the yield of these vegetables can easily increase by more than double. If we were to build two greenhouses, this more than 10,000 yuan may not be enough, Lin's father thought to himself after listening. The cost of one acre of greenhouse is about 8,000 yuan, and for four acres of land, it's about 30,000 yuan. Don't worry if the money is not enough. In three days, let's sell more wild rabbits, and the money will be enough. This time Lin Chen didn't talk big. He also learned about the Imperial Kitchen Hotel during the day in the county town. It is a chain hotel, with 10 stores in Guangas County alone and more in the city. There are only a few hundred wild chickens and rabbits, which is not enough for a single store to consume. Next time, Lin Chen plans to bring in two or three hundred wild rabbits. It's easy for one's own water buffalo to load 3,000 pounds of goods, after all, the feed they eat now is specially prepared by Lin Chen. This feed is of great help in improving the physical fitness of water buffaloes, as it can quickly enhance their strength and make them more robust. I sold 12,000 yuan today. If we sell 4 acres of land, it will cost 32,000 yuan, which means there is still a gap of 20,000 yuan. If we calculate 20,000 yuan based on one pound of wild rabbit meat, one wild rabbit weighs 10 pounds, which is only 200 wild rabbits. Are there many 200 wild rabbits? Not many, there are many wild rabbits in the mountains behind Lingjia village, and they are almost flooding. If it weren't for the difficulty in catching these rabbits and the danger in the mountains, the villagers would have gone to catch them long ago. Father Lin also understood that no matter how his son caught the wild rabbits, he could sell more money before the villagers knew about it. Once the villagers knew about it, they would go to the mountains to catch the rabbits. No matter how many rabbits there were, it would not be so easy to catch them. No matter where it is, no one is willing to miss the opportunity to make money. If that's the case, we don't need to rush to build the greenhouse for now. After four days, let's sell the rabbits again and make enough money before we start. Father Lin thought for a moment and said. Sure, I'll listen to you. But I'm planning to build this four-acre greenhouse into a light steel structure, which is not only easy to manage, but also sturdy and will last longer. Originally, Lin Chen intended to use bamboo as a support, but after careful calculation, a steel frame was still more suitable. If steel structure is used, it can be used once and for all, without the need for frequent replacement of brackets. Greenhouses can be planted not only in winter, but also in spring when vegetables can be sold in advance. With good operation, the cost of building greenhouses can be recouped in both winter and spring. I don't understand your father in this regard, so you don't have to tell me. You plan it yourself, and I'm responsible for finding someone to build it for you. Lin's father is very self-aware, and he knows he doesn't understand, so he doesn't express his opinions much. More than 30,000 yuan is not a small sum of money. Don't be fooled by it on the surface, but in fact, he is also nervous and worried about failure. However, since childhood, my son has been different from others and often reads books from his sisters. In Lin's opinion, greenhouse vegetable cultivation techniques are likely learned by my son from books. Okay, Dad, you and Uncle San can figure it out how long it will take to fully complete the four-acre greenhouse. After all, it's almost November and we need to start selling vegetables before the Chinese New Year at the end of December at the latest. The time for building the greenhouse cannot be delayed too long. 
Lin Chen doesn't want to miss out on the good opportunity to make money during the spring festival. If the greenhouse can be built a day earlier, his vegetables can be sold a day earlier, and he can also make money a day earlier. Okay, I just happen to have a good meal. I'll go to your uncle Sanjin's house to ask and also set the date for the construction. You've been running all day, so wash your feet and rest early. After saying that, Lin's father put down the dishes in his hand, picked up a flashlight, and went out. Dad, slow down on your way, it's getting dark. Don't worry, it's okay. There's a flashlight and nothing can happen. As the words fell, Lin's footsteps gradually faded away, and the village began to hear the constant barking of dogs. After washing up and lying in bed, Lin Chen began to look up the encyclopedia of medicinal herbs he had obtained from checking in at the county town today. This is what he obtained by checking in at the county pharmacy to buy herbs. Now, Lin Chen has also summarized a pattern. The things he receives by checking in every day are closely related to the place he is located or what he does every day. I obtained a complete collection of breeding techniques from the pigsty, and when I wanted to grow vegetables, I ended up with greenhouse vegetable planting techniques and special fertilizers to accelerate plant growth and yield. When I bought herbs from the county pharmacy, I signed in and got this encyclopedia of medicinal herbs. I didn't sign in for the divine arts secret scripts, was it because I didn't practice or do anything related to martial arts when I signed in? If that's the case, I'll give it a try tomorrow when I practice martial arts and see if that's the case, Lin Chen pondered in his heart. Forget it, I won't think about it for now. I'll give it a try tomorrow and we'll know. Let's let the system fill in the encyclopedia of medicinal herbs first. As soon as his mind moved, the system began to impart knowledge. Soon, the system had finished imparting knowledge, and all the knowledge from the Encyclopedia of Medicinal Materials had been firmly imprinted in his mind. This Encyclopedia of Medicinal Herbs is truly comprehensive, with millions of recorded medicinal herbs. Lin Chen just skimmed through it and found that he didn't know or even heard of 99% of the medicinal herbs. However, after being systematically instilled, he has suddenly mastered millions of knowledge about medicinal herbs, and it is not an exaggeration to say that he is a master in this field now. To be honest, this encyclopedia on medicinal herbs came at the right time and was also of great help to Lin Chen. In the complete collection of breeding techniques, there are many types of feed formulas that require the addition of medicinal herbs. The better the feed effect, the more types of medicinal herbs can be added. Why can Lin Chen only configure the simplest type of feed now? That's because he knows and has heard of the herbs needed for this type of feed, and he has never heard of the herbs needed for other types of feed. He doesn't know where to buy the relevant herbs, and even if asked to configure them, he can't do it. Just knowing these herbs is exhausting his brain. But now this problem no longer exists, which means that as long as Lin Chen can find the necessary medicinal herbs in all the feed formulas in the breeding encyclopedia, he can configure any type of feed, which is equivalent to cheating Lin Chen. If the best feed can be configured, it will undoubtedly be of great help to his future farming. Think about it, it takes six months and a year for other people's pigs to be slaughtered, while other pigs only take three months, which is equivalent to being able to sell pigs four times a year. The difference between them is too big. This is equivalent to him earning several times more money than others in a year. The contract has been mailed out, so everyone can rest assured to collect it. Please collect and recommend it. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Li Chengjiang's Importance. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Li Chengjiang's Importance, Oh My. Fellow villagers, you've come. I thought you weren't coming today. Three days later, when Lin Chen and his son arrived at the farmer's market in the county town with a cart, Li Changjiang, the purchasing manager of the Imperial Kitchen Hotel, had already been waiting here. When they saw them, their attitude was enthusiastic. Can Li Changjiang not be enthusiastic? Three days ago, he bought the game of Lin Chen and his son here. 
As a result, the hotel's foot traffic increased significantly by 30% that night compared to before. Half of these people came for the spicy rabbit meat and stir-fried chicken at the Imperial Kitchen Hotel. Originally, Li Changjiang thought that the increase in passenger flow by 30% was already significant, but the next day's situation completely exceeded his expectations. At noon, the number of customers coming to dine doubled compared to usual, and the hotel was fully booked. These people also came to their hotel for the game. The result of overcrowding was that the game bought from Lin Chen was not sold out until the next night. Causing customers to order without any ingredients available in the kitchen. There's no way, in order to retain these newly added customer flows, Li Changjiang traveled all over the county's agricultural markets to buy wild chickens and rabbits. I bought wild chickens and rabbits, but after the kitchen cooked them, the taste was very different from the wild game sold to him by Lin Chen, which caused a lot of dissatisfaction among customers, who said that the Imperial Kitchen Hotel was fraudulent and used inferior products as a substitute. In order to retain these customers, Li Changjiang explained well and promised to provide them with limited supply in three days. After all, it can be said that these guests have been calmed down. These past few days, Li Changjiang doesn't even know how he got here. Every day, Customers who come to the restaurant to eat will order their hotel signature dishes, spicy rabbit meat, stir-fried chicken, and name them as wild rabbits and wild chicken meat, not domesticated ones. Every time he goes to explain to customers well, he can't help but explain. These people are all regulars in the store, and they are also people who don't need money. When opening the door for business, there is no reason to offend customers. If he offends these regulars in the store, then they won't be able to open the Imperial Kitchen Hotel. Watching the cart filled with rabbits, Li Changjiang's heart that had been hanging for the past few days finally calmed down. He was really afraid that Lin Chen and his son would let him down. Come to my hometown, smoke a cigarette first. Li Changjiang then took out a Chinese cigarette and handed it to Lin's father. He casually stuffed a whole pack of cigarettes into Lin's pocket, took out a lighter, and personally lit it for him. Seeing Li Changjiang's actions, Lin Chen already had a sense of relief in his heart. It seems that the game effects sold to them at the hotel last time were not as good as usual. Lin Chen knows the quality of that batch of game best in his heart. The reason why the quality of the previous batch of wild chickens and rabbits was so good was entirely due to the feed they prepared. In order to quickly capture enough wild chickens and rabbits, Lin Chen has equipped top.level bait, which greatly helps to improve the taste of animal meat. These changes were already noticed by Lin Chen when they were eating meat themselves, but he remained silent. Let's make a deal first. It's almost time for dinner. Don't delay your hotel's business, Lin Chen said on the side. Okay, trade first. Li Changjiang was eager to do so. Many guests, due to their own explanations, have already booked lunch for today in advance. If their hotel cannot make it by then, the hotel's losses will be too great. Even if they are killed, it cannot make up for the hotel's losses. What is required for opening a hotel is not only the taste of the food, but also the reputation and reputation. Quickly, with the help of the hotel purchaser, all the rabbits were weighed. The total weight was 3,196 pounds, which was less than 3,200 pounds. Li Changjiang calculated it based on 3,200 pounds. Last time, it was 12 yuan per pound. This time, Li Changjiang took the initiative to add 3 yuan, and calculated it based on 15 yuan per pound. After 3,200 pounds, it was 48,000 yuan. Pop, Li Changjiang took out five stacks of cash from the car, took out twenty from one stack, and handed the rest to Lin Chen's father. Father Lin is not polite either. He took over and started counting. This is nearly fifty thousand yuan, not five hundred yuan. It's not wrong to be cautious. Besides, he and Li Changjiang are only in a business relationship, and they are not familiar with each other. After pointing it out in person, there is no problem at all. Children, could you please order more next time? 
After all the rabbits were loaded into the car, Li Changjiang asked the driver to drive back first, because it was already 11 o'clock and the hotel meal was about to arrive. The kitchen was still waiting for these rabbits to cook. How much do you want? This time it weighs over 3,000 pounds. There are only 10 restaurants in the county, and on average, each one weighs over 300 pounds. Isn't this 300 pounds enough to sell in three days? Lin Chen also had some doubts in his heart. Of course, the more, the better. Li Changjian looked at Lin Chen with a smile on his face. As the procurement manager of a chain hotel, his vision and experience are still very rich. In the past few days, he has bought more than one wild game, but the result is only one. Both are wild rabbits, and what he bought from other places was meat that was not bought from Lin Chen, with a good taste. Why is this? It's very simple. The wild rabbits here in Lin Chen are different from those from other families. On the surface, they look the same, but in reality, they are different. The quality of the rabbit meat sold by Lin Chen is so good, there must be a secret. Li Changjiang doesn't want to know this secret, what he wants is that Lin Chen can provide long-term stable supply to their hotel. Last time, over a thousand pounds of wild game doubled the passenger flow of a hotel. This time, over three thousand pounds, with limited supply, can at least increase the passenger flow of the three hotels. You should know that in this county town of Guangyes, their Imperial Kitchen Hotel has ten chain stores. This time, the three thousand pounds of wild rabbits are not enough. Not to mention three thousand pounds, even thirty thousand pounds is not enough for their county chain store to consume in half a month. The reason why he took the initiative to raise the price this time is to be able to monopolize the game in Lin Chen's hands. Exclusive business is the most profitable. Although Li Changjiang spent 50,000 yuan this time, their hotel can earn at least 250,000 yuan. Compared to 250,000 yuan, 50,000 yuan is nothing at all. Li Changjiang was also aware that he could not monopolize Lin Chen's supply of goods for a long time, but at the very least, he needed to stabilize the new customer flow in his hotel first. At that time, even if competitors knew about Lin Chen's existence, their Imperial Kitchen Hotel was not worried because they had already firmly kept these new customers in their hotel. Sure. Li Changjiang's answer happened to be exactly what Lin Chen hoped for. He has top.notch feed in his hands, and he also intends to increase the trading volume each time, so as to have a stable long.term buyer and save Lin Chen trouble. If it's increased, you'll need to go by yourself next time because there's too much, and our cart won't fit. Half of what Lin Chen said was true, and the other half was lies. It's true that the ox cart can't fit, mainly because he doesn't want his father to work so hard back and forth. He wakes up around 5 o'clock in the morning every day and doesn't get home until around 6 o'clock in the evening. It's better now that it's not very cold, but it will be even harder in the future if it gets cold. It's not worth it to exhaust my father's health in order to earn such a little money. This is not what Lin Chen hopes to see. Why is he working so hard to earn money and improve the living standards of his family? Just to prevent my parents from working so hard. Okay, that's no problem. Lin Chen's answer also happened to hit Li Changjiang's heart. He also doesn't want Lin Chen and his son to frequently appear in the farmer's market. Now their hotel's game has not been fully spread. When it is fully spread, it will certainly attract the attention of competitors. Competitors will certainly secretly investigate the source of these game. At that time, if they are still trading here, the secret will be exposed. At that time, if these wild rabbits are taken away by competitors, it will be a big trouble. Li Changjiang naturally hopes to keep this secret for as long as possible. The longer the time, the more money their hotel will earn. In the afternoon, you can have your hotel's truck wait for us at the market entrance. After we finish shopping, let him follow us and first go identify the road. When it's time, just drive over and bring it back. There are also hundreds of wild rabbits and chickens at home, 
and they will be brought back when the fire returns. That's a good relationship, I don't know what you want to buy. I'm quite familiar with this county and can help you. Li Changjiang now hopes to help Lin Chen and his son, so that they can owe him a favor. In the business world, it's not easy to pay off personal debts. It's not a big deal, just buying some materials for building greenhouses and cement, Lin Chen couldn't wait for Li Changjiang to drive them back. This time, they bought a lot of things, and their cart couldn't fit them at all. Are you going to grow greenhouse vegetables, children? Li Changjiang's eyes lit up when he heard the materials used to build the greenhouse. Their imperial kitchen hotel also consumes a large amount of vegetables. In summer, it's easier to talk about it, but in winter, it's the hardest time to endure. There are hardly any vegetables in the market, and many hotels need to send people to the south to buy them. This undoubtedly increases their costs and reduces the hotel's profits. However, there is no way to reduce profits, after all, in winter, the whole country is short of vegetables, and it is already very good for them to be able to buy vegetables. Many times, even if they send someone to buy, they may not be able to buy enough vegetables they want. Yes, greenhouse vegetables will be a trend in the future. This year, let's give it a try and accumulate experience before expanding the scale. Lin Chen intentionally said this, with the aim of selling vegetables to the Imperial Kitchen Hotel. The whole country is very short of vegetables, but he doesn't have a sales channel. It's too troublesome and laborious for him to buy them alone, car by car. This is not in line with Lin Chen's original intention. It's better to sell these vegetables directly to the Imperial Kitchen Hotel. What's the scale? Do you have a material list? I'll have someone help you buy it, and once you buy it, I'll just help you pull it back. You don't have to work hard anymore. This year, we will plant four acres of vegetables, including chili peppers, long beans, cucumbers, and eggplants. We will increase the variety of vegetables when we have more experience in the future. No, this is the list. Lin Chen then took out a list that had been written long ago and handed it to Li Changjiang. Upon hearing that it was four acres, Li Changjiang was delighted again. Although the area was not large, it was enough to supply the consumption of their county hotel. In addition, chili peppers, cucumbers, eggplants, and long beans were the most consumed vegetables in their hotel. If Lin Chen really succeeded in planting them, at least their county hotel would no longer need to worry about vegetables this winter. The contract has been mailed, so everyone can rest assured to collect, recommend, collect, and recommend it. Thank you. End of this chapter